So basically you, you look for the, the height off the top of the head, comes up about three or four inches, and then the sweep around past the ears, and then back out, and then the, the curl of the, the tips at the back. Sometimes you get them with nice long tips. He's not too bad. Bring me this one. <coughs> yeah, Greg, we've been driving around looking at all these cobs and, and he looks pretty good. We'll go and have a closer look. I yeah. mean, I didn't see his tips in that, um, but it looks like he's got some age and quite a bit of mass. Yeah, if he's got the mass, yeah. we'll ground check it. You like it thicker. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting a little woody just then. <laughs> Just had a look at this one. Yeah, he doesn't have a lot of mass. Um, he's quite wide, but his yeah. his tips are still low. They haven't come up. Um, but if you have a look at him, he's he's got good shape. Um, where the horns come out of the head and then go out and past the ears, that's what you sort of want to look for. He's got quite a harem. Yeah, busy, busy Lizzie. There's a couple of more across that other Over side. Over on the other yeah, side, some white faces. Look, yeah. Yeah. He doesn't quite have the tips. Eh? He's a pretty unique shape. Eh? Mm -hmm. It's up to you, Greg. What do you think? I mean, he's a nice looking cob. He just, he, he doesn't have the typical sort of tips, but that Shape and that is shit. It's really nice. Eh? Get an I'm going to. He's down there. Eh? <laughs> <laughs> Were you trying to line? <laughs> 
<laughs> wow, Greg, that's pretty unique, eh? Yeah. Wow. I don't know that. But... Yeah, look at that, eh? Good shot, eh? Mm. What a dandy. You see, instead of his tips coming straight up like this, yeah, they've curved in. So it was also, it was quite deceiving. Yeah. He's got good mass. Yeah, he's got good mass. And he also comes up high. Now he's a beauty, man. Well yeah, done. Yep. Good Thanks. shooting. Yep. So we got up around sort of 5.30 this morning, had a bit of breakfast, came out to the hunting area here. Um, we've probably looked at... <sighs> 200 cob, oh, possibly hell, more. In this yeah. bunch. <laughs> They're just everywhere, eh? They're like flies, eh? Um, we saw a really nice one off the main road, um, but yeah, he was a bit close to the main road, so we had to pass him up. And then uh, we got onto this guy, uh, an absolute dandy, eh? Um, the perfect sort of shape, uh, pretty unique trophy, well done. Yeah, different, different shape than any of them I've seen when he yeah. looks at you. He was really something. Yeah, well done, yeah, Greg. Yeah. Hey. Good shooting, right. man. Well, we just got back from shooting a really nice Nile buffalo and got back and we're driving back to our camp and we spotted some cobs. So rather than have lunch, I, we just had a, something to drink and we're going back out cob hunting. It's average, yeah. He's walking to the left side, huh? Eh? Yeah, that is a nice cob. what we uh, can do down here. Okay, they've moved across. That's okay. He's the one at the back. Right small, right, right, and down. There's three of them standing, four of them. So looking back at those folks over there, they've got good eyes. So let's ease back onto the road. Yeah, if you get to that ridge, let's get to this little ridge. There's a shit pile of them down there now. <laughs> they're, they're, they're out in front of us, but not exactly in plain sight, are they? And he's, he's looking right. You see him now, he's, lo he's looking, looking left. Just turned his head, cocked left a little bit, now he's looking away. He is. So the big green clump is 130 yards, and he's probably 30 yards after that, so he's 170. That's him on his own now. You see all the all the others all running. They're running past him, and he's going to stay behind. He's just gone down. He's still down. No, he's still down. Oh, he's a little farther right than that red spot. Good stuff. Thank nice. you. Nice. That was a good spot. shot. There's a one-horn wonder just pulled up there where you. 
<laughs> we were first spotted and there's one down there with one horn. Awesome. Pretty nice, eh? Look at those white bases. Nice and old. Very nice. That's a good cob right there. Well done, Craig. Awesome Thank shot you, as well, man. eh? Thank you. That's a beaut, eh? Long, 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 long. And see the white solid. He's, he's old, 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 old. Older and longer than all the others that we saw up there. Best of 31. Best of 31 bulls. See how flat those ridges are? He's completely rubbed the ridges down, there and there, completely. So he's way older than all those others too. Nice, I'm very happy with that. Though. Well, we just got back from a pretty exciting buffalo hunt and brought the buffalo back to camp and then spotted some cob uh, driving back. So we went back and got reorganized and came out and put a stuff Then By then they'd moved quite yeah. a ways. So we had a little trouble finding them and then we found a whole bunch of them. So it was a matter of trying to sort out the best one out of like 30. And this one, after about 20 minutes, this one obviously was the oldest and biggest. And we were able to get a shot at him from up high. And uh, he ran a little ways and went down. So it was a good job of spotting by Ryan. Yeah, so it was a a bit of a different hunt. We we kind of saw them in this cornfield right here. So they uh, this is the hunting area, and the government came in kind of midway through last year with a bunch of bulldozers, and they leveled out a lot of this um, wilderness and habitat for the game. But and then of course being on the edge of a national park here, the park is a couple of miles that way. Um, the crop got decimated by the elephants, the buffalo, the hippo from the Nile. The Nile is about a quarter mile back that way. Um, the cob, it was just a, a candy store for the wildlife. So not all was lost because the animals are happy. And uh, yeah, we're still able to hunt, but just a, it, it, it adds a little different twist to it. We're hunting cob in the corner. <laughs> so, <laughs> Thank you. Very yeah, well done. Another impressive shot there, Craig, well done. Very good. So this morning we got up early, uh, went and did a morning session of fishing. Uh, it was absolutely awesome to be on the Nile River. Yeah. Uh, we had a couple of runs, nine, well, 11. 11 in total, caught one catfish. Unfortunately, we couldn't hook a perch, but uh, Craig's still there. Um, hopefully he can come home with the goods. We're gonna go out this afternoon, see if we can get a baboon and cob. Yeah, we just saw a big baboon. And uh, that was a lot of fun. We left real early this morning. It was nice out, it's hot now, it's starting to cool off. But we're uh, gonna go just down over this hill and that, uh, we saw a big baboon, but I don't know why the game scout didn't hear poor planning <laughs> on my uh, pH's part, but. <laughs> we're, gonna, we're, gonna, we're gonna go down there and hopefully we can get to him before he gets up to where the cob are and I spook them all out of there. Yeah. But we gotta do the baboon first because you know it'll spook him up. Exactly, yeah. If he hears a shot, he'll be gone. Yeah. Yeah,
get him. It probably just a little bit behind the shoulder. But yeah, he hardly he hardly even reacted to the shot. What? <laughs> Must have hearted. <laughs> oh, he's got good mass. Yeah, beautiful. When I seen that, I didn't even look no more. I said, yeah, I should do that. And the way he took off. It's incredible. Like did he you hadn't, think I missed? I, I actually, to tell you the honest truth, I did. Eh? So did I. Yeah, but I kept watching him and then I saw him sort of like start to slow down. And then I saw him going in and then I saw him just like reverse back and flip over. No piece of look at the Look at that. He's an old boy. So we got to the cob area this afternoon. Uh, we probably saw two, three hundred cob. Um, but just nothing thick enough. Greg wanted one with some nice thickness and mass. And uh, yeah, it was getting pretty late. And we went down to the area where we shot the first cob and lo and behold, here's the one. And Greg made a brilliant shot. Uh, well done, Greg, good shooting. Well, we sure didn't know it. When, uh, yeah, we'd looked all over. I didn't care as much, you know, for maximum length, but I wanted the mass and uh, old age. Look how the tips are starting to wear down. I'm real happy with him and yeah, we've covered miles and miles to end up shooting two of them this close together. <laughs> Crazy. And that's messed me up more than anything I think ever shot. Shot and he just took off like it was a clean miss. And uh, I should have known better, but. <laughs> <laughs>